we're just going to go over a few basics to begin with. So the Instone button's right up here. Uh, down at the bottom here, kind of prominently, you have sample homes and upload your photo. In sample homes, there will be 20 different photos of facades, patios, interiors. You can design all of these and all of these are pre-mapped and set up. So all you need to do is put the stone on it and switch that out. So that's really easy to use. But a lot of times your customer will come to you with a photo of their home or a rendering or something like that. And that's where you're going to want to upload their own photo so they can see what it's going to look like on their home or business. Um, so this is the area you're going to work in most. Up top here, uh, we've got start new, new design and upload your photo. That will always be there. Um, so if you are in a different project, you can always use these the same way that you can use the buttons down here. Create your account. You might want to overlook this, think, ah, I don't need to do another account for something, but it is really important to do. It's just a few pieces of information about yourself to be able to set up an account online. And what that allows you to do is save and share your projects. You can go ahead in and use this without doing that, but you cannot save and share without creating the account. So I have created an account already, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And then you can see that create my account changes to my projects. And this is what I was just talking about. If I click into this, you can see that I have several saved projects. Some have stone on them, some are ready to go that I've mapped out to sit down with somebody and go ahead through and pick out different stones. But even the ones that already have stones on them, I can always go into and switch what's on it. So it's a great way to have something set up, have good combinations of stone set up so you can quickly show that but also go in and change it to somebody's desire. So we're gonna go back to the beginning now. And now we're just going to dive in uh, and take you through a photo that one of our clients actually sent in. Um, they were having a hard time adding stone, they needed some help. And we hope by the end of this that you'll just feel very confident using this. So I'll go ahead and go to upload your photo. And before we go ahead and upload the photo, I just want to point one thing out. Um, up here at the top is exterior project and interior project. If it is an interior project, please make sure you check that box uh, because by noting that you will get another type of stone. You'll be able to also use the Artipizo 3D wall tile. That will not be possible in an exterior project. We are going to do the exterior project today, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose my photo. This is just a, a building in progress. They wanted to see what was going to look like and to be able to choose some different stones for some of the other units. Um, so this is a great photo because it is straight on. There's nothing blocking it, no obstructions, it's not blurry. Uh, so this is an ideal type of photo. It might not look pretty now, but we're going to make it uh, look very nice. You can see that the AI has mapped out different areas here. We've got the wall, although it did think that these boards on the top and the bottom were decorations, and it will map around decorations, just like it mapped around this door. Um, so we're going to have to go in and add that area because we definitely want stone there. It also mapped out the siding, as you can see. And it did not map the paving area here, um, but that is something that the client wanted to be able to show. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that today as well. And we are going to also add some paint to these banisters here, or the posts. Uh, so up here, this little button 
is going to be very important for everything that you do with editing. That is going to be where we do all of our changes to this photo. So before we put any stone on the wall, I want to make sure that all the mapped areas are exactly that we want. So I'm going to go ahead into edit. Um, and then here we can go ahead and add these areas. So I'll just click on the area that I want. And then once I'm on that area, I can click add to surface. Up top, I don't need to be too, too specific. So I can go ahead and just add a rectangle area there. Down here, I want to be a little bit more um, specific. So I'm going to go ahead and use the contour. And you just click and you'll get every time that you want to change directions. And when you go back together to finish off the area, you'll see this little pointer icon. Go ahead and click that. And now we've completed this area here. Very quick, very easy. You'll see the wood gets in the way here. So this isn't quite level. We're going to bring that down a little bit just with uh, the little dot that we have there. Right. So that's all we want to do to that area. So we're going to go ahead and click done. Now I want to add this paving area. Um, so we're going to add a completely new area. I don't want to click on anywhere else because I don't want it connected with that area. Up here, you'll see you have different masking areas. Um, the ones you'll mainly be concerned about are the paving and the wall. Paving is our aura natural pavers. Um, so all of the stone that goes on the ground and then the wall will be your stone veneers. And it also includes paint colors. The paint only includes paint, so I would definitely just use the wall because then you have a choice no matter what you're doing. We've also given an option for roofing just so if there is a roof area that you want to change to make a color um, that is complementary to the project that you're working on, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click the paving area and contour button. And then I'm just going to go around all of these little different areas and real simply and quickly it doesn't have to take a lot of time um, to go and do this and you'll notice up in the left hand corner of my screen uh, that there is a circle that gives you a zoomed in area of where your pointer is so let me get back there uh, you can see where you're at. All right, that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click done at this point because I don't want anything else to get that paving stone. As I mentioned, I also want to do these posts with paint. So I'm going to really quickly do that. I'll use the wall area. And I you could use the rectangle, but this is out of skew a little bit. So you wouldn't want to do that because it would uh, go over it quite a bit. Now I've got one done, but I want this other post to be the exact same color. So I'm not going to click done at this point. I'm just going to click add to surface and you can go to the other side. So when you're adding different surfaces, they don't have to be right next to each other to get the same treatment you can go from side to side. All right. And I think that are all good for adding our surfaces. So we're all prepped and ready to go with that. Um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead in and click where I want the stone veneer. And you can see come up the masonry and the paint. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. And you can see that we have all of the different uh, thin veneer brands that we carry, including Beyond Stone, Cultured Stone, Dutch Quality, Interlock, and Pangea. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Pangea and pick out uh, 
one of the ones that the client wanted. They wanted to look at uh, the Oxford. Now that doesn't look too bad, but I think we can do better. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and add the other different areas. I'm just gonna add a paint color that's similar to the siding here. You could add whatever you wanted. And then going to go ahead and go into the paving area and you can see that we have the three different kinds of stone. Just going to go ahead in and pick the imported gray thermal. And then you see here that we have different grout colors. Um, it can make a difference when what color grout you use. So we wanted to make sure that you see what it looks like. So now you can see this, this doesn't look right. Um, it looks like it's trying to put it onto a wall. So we're going to be able to fix that um, with the perspective. But before we even do that, let's make sure these stones are the right size. They look a little bit small to me. So we're going to go back into edit and go ahead right over to the left and change project scale. Anytime you upload your own picture, I urge you to always do this. The AI does a pretty good job, but it's not going to be nearly as good as you going in and doing this. And it's super simple. The default for our program is a door. Um, we have a door in this picture, so it makes it easy. All I need to do is click from the top to the bottom of the door to measure it. Um, the default size for a regular sized door is already entered. But if you had something a different size, you could go ahead and, and change these. And I'm just going to hit continue. And we can do the other perspectives and things like that at this point, but I want to show you the difference uh, that just doing that one little step makes. So you can see now the stone looks the right size. Um, it looks so much better. It looks like it will look in person. Um, so now what I really want to go in and do is fix this paving area. I want to make that actually look like paving and I want to get rid of uh, the wood that you can still see. It's sort of bleeding through there. So we're going to go ahead in and fix those right now too. Back into edit. Once again, you could do all of this uh, at the same time, but I want to show you each step along the way. So each layer can have its own perspective because the wall is going to be different than the flooring. So I go ahead and click that layer that I want to set the perspective for and go here on the left and set the perspective. You'll see these red, this red box pop up. Um, you'll want to make sure that you see all four of these red dots uh, because that is going to be how you set this perspective. At the top here, you see this end up. So if you're doing a wall, you want to make sure this end up is, you know, the top of the wall. Uh, here, we're going to use this edge as the top. And we're just going to follow along on the edges of this photo and drag the dots to the appropriate areas. You can see that this is pretty level there. This needs to go up a little bit to meet our line. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. Done and save and continue. And now you can see it looks right. Yeah, it looks like actual paving, like you just put that down. And then we're going to just go one more step and get rid of that would lead through there. So once again, in edit, we're going to click on the layer that we want to work with. And opacity is basically if you can see through it or not. So this is always set to 50%. And we want to go ahead and take that to 100. Done and save and continue. And it's just that easy to get rid of something like that. Anything. Um, that shows through a lot of times if you have a pattern that will show through, you'll want to set the opacity to 100. You might ask, why don't we always have that as a, at 100? And the reason for that is there are times when you want a pattern to see through. 
I'm just going to go ahead and show you up here on the siding what would happen if I put a different color on it. So right now the opacity is set to 50%. You only see some of this ribbing up top, but that's not what I, how I want to show it to the customer. So I want to go back in, click the layer, and then set this opacity lower. And then you'll go ahead and be able to see. Now it looks right. It looks like it would be siding. You can get a really good idea of what it would look like. So this is great, but what if they don't like the stone? You, you want to try a different one. You can go back in. It'll take you right back to um, the lowest level that you were at. So this was where the Oxford was. I could go ahead and change it to any of these others. Or if I want to put a completely different type of stone on it, we can go ahead up here and change that. And in seconds, go ahead and change. And all of your perspective, your scale is all correct at this point. So it's really simple, really easy. Uh, you want to show this to your customer, but you want to show the last one as well. So go ahead up into my snapshots and take a snapshot. Change that back again. Go back to our original. And then we can take another snapshot and we'll have both of those saved into our projects. If they're sitting right in front of you, you might want to do kind of a reveal. You might have this ready for them ahead of time and have this use this before and after button. So you can just click real quick and it makes a big impression when you're doing this. And then over here we have a report and save. Once again, you have to have an account if you're going to save a project. And we have share as well. And I'll talk about the share in another minute, but I want to go up here and show you what this report can do, um, because this is going to be something that can really help you. So here we have the two different options that we had. Um, they, they're not sure which one they want, so we can leave both of these selected and just go to design report. And now you can send this report or print it out uh, for your customers to go ahead and take. They'll be able to see all of the colors that you used, all of the stone you used, even uh, patterns on the paving. If you go back to setup, if they've just decided on one and they want to walk away with just the one piece of information, so you want them to be confident coming back when knowing what they're asking for or having a record of that, you can just unclick the one and go ahead and now you only have that one. And the share up here is where you can go ahead and you can just email that to them if they're not in front of you, or you can send it up as a follow-up later. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. And really that is all that, we're, that, that we've got today. Um, if you wanted to go back and design, you can get out of report by just going back up to the design button. And I want to just show you too, we mentioned real quickly, let's use a different stone. So if you go into a different kind of stone and it, and it does have an option for a different pattern, you get to choose the pattern. So then you can see how the difference will look. This is great to use uh, for backyard patios. Um, it's also good if they have a kitchen outside, you can do their patio. You can put stone on uh, outdoor kitchen. Uh, so there's a lot of different uses with this.